Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a red Gyarados Pokemon. And I want to give a shout out to River and Grayson for giving me this awesome idea, and I hope you guys enjoy this fun video. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Now to start off with our red Gyarados, let's begin up on the face. So let's start right here, and I'm going to begin by making a V shape. So I'm going to go down, and then up here like this. Then right here, we're gonna make the nose. So the nose is gonna line up with this. So let's just make a line that's gonna come up. We're gonna draw right on top of that V shape and then we're gonna come down. Then inside here, let's just make two little lines for the nostrils. Next, let's work on the eyes. To do the eyes, we're gonna start here on the nose and we're gonna come over and then bring this up. And then we'll do the same thing here. Just go over and bring it up. Next, I'm going to make an oval shape that's gonna come down and up here. And then I'll do the same thing here. Just an oval shape that goes down and up. Now for the pupil, just draw a little line that comes down. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out and then in. Then I want to bring this line up to a point, kind of like a rounded point, and then we'll bring it down here, but not all the way. We'll bring this line out and then curve it around. Then I'll bring this line out and curve it around. Next, on the nose, I'm gonna bring these lines down just a little bit farther, and then we wanna work on the mouth. So to start on the mouth, let's draw a line that's gonna curve up, it's gonna come down, then we'll go up and down again. Next, I'm gonna curve this in and bring it down, and then same thing, kinda of curve this in and down. Then I'm gonna bring this down, over, and then up to here. Next, I'm gonna bring this up, down, and then up to here. And then we're just gonna kinda of draw the same shape in here. So we're just kinda of right around the mouth, we're gonna draw that exact same shape. So it looks like some lips. I'm gonna make a line that's gonna curve to a point and back up, curve to a point and back up. Same thing here, we're gonna bring this to a point and down, bring this to a point and down for his four sharp teeth. Now for the tongue, let's draw a line that's gonna come up and down and then up and then back down. Then for the back of the mouth, we're gonna draw a line that's just gonna come up, over, and then back down. Now, underneath the eyes, let's go ahead and make these little curved lines. Now, starting up here, I'm going to make a line that's gonna come out, and then it's gonna come down, and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm going to come out, and then down, I'm going to bring this line in and down, and same thing here, in and down. I'm going to bring this out, down, and then we're gonna curve it in. So same thing here, we're gonna go out, down, and then just curve it in. Now right here, I'm gonna bring this line up and in for the top of the head. And same thing here, up and then in for the top of the head. Now, starting here, let's make a line that's gonna come out. We're gonna go down and then bring it in. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Let's just come out, 
We'll go down and then bring it in. Next, I'm going to bring this in, down, in, and down, and back in. Same thing over here, gonna go in and down, in and down and back in. Then we'll just draw a little line on each side and these are gonna be kind of like the little fins that stick out the side of his face. Next, we're gonna make his whiskers. So we're just gonna bring this line down. Then we're gonna curve it up same thing here, I'm going to bring this line down and then curve it around. Then we'll do that exact same thing, just going to curve this around and up to here. Then I'll just start at the top this time and we're just going to come down and then bring this around. So he's got his little whiskers. Now starting here, let's draw a line that's going to come up and then in. And same thing, we're going to go up and then in to start off the neck. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up and then in. And then same thing here, let's just go up and in again. Then this time, I'm going to bring this line up and then we're going to curve it down to here. Then I'm going to start with his spikes. So I'm going to draw a big line that's going to come up and then down. Then I'm gonna make another one. It's gonna come up here. I'm going to bring this down on this side. Then I'll make another little line that's gonna come up and then down here. Then I'm gonna bring this line down. Next, I'm gonna curve this line down to here. And I'm going to bring this line up and down. I'll bring this line up and down. And I'll bring this line up and down for another one of his spikes. Now, starting right here, let's curve a line down. And then right here, let's just go ahead and curve a line up. Now we're gonna start making his body. So all I'm gonna do is let's just draw a line that goes down and then I'll curve up. This one's gonna kinda of jump over the whisker and come to here. Now let's make another one. So we're just going to come down and then bring it up to here. They'll make another one right here. Then I'm gonna keep making a few more you can see they're starting to get just a little bit smaller because we're almost making it look like his body's going back. So there's a little bit of perspective in there. Now, when I draw this next one, I'm going to bring this line up to here. And then I'm going to bring this line down. I'm going to make lines going to come up and down, up and down, and then up and down here. Then another one's just going to go up and down. Next, I'm going to bring this line up and over here. And we're going to make a little line right there. Next, I'll make another line that's going to come up. And then we'll draw a line that's going to curve up and then down. And then we'll do a couple more. One bump here and then one bump down to here. And there's a little bit of space right there. We'll draw a line. I'll put another bump right here. And then one more right here. Now for his tail, let's draw a line that's going to come up. And I'm going to bring this down. Then we'll make another line that's going to come up a little bit higher. We'll put a couple bumps on it. And then we'll bring it down to here. And then we'll make another line that's going to come up here and back down. Then I'll put some zigzag lines here and some zigzag lines here.
Now, I want to add a little bit of detail on him for his little spots. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that curves here. Then on this big curve, let's go ahead and make another one. I'll put a curve here. And then a curve here. I'll do one here. We'll do a little curve here. And then we'll do one more right here. then he's going to have these little spots on him as well. So I'm going to make a line that's just going to come down and up. I'll make another line that's going to come down and up. And then I'm just going to continue to put these on each one of these. So we're just going to kind of come out and then back in all along here. And these are just going to be his little spots all along his body here. And there you go, there is your drawing of a red gear dose. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.